RisaCalc is a web-based application for individual component design which provides engineers with an easy-to-use interface that allows for full control over inputs such as geometry and loading, in addition to graphical and numerical results including robust detailed reports. In this video, we'll take a look at the composite beam design functionality in RisaCalc. So first we need to start a new project and I'm just going to go ahead and rename this project. Next, then navigate over here to the components panel and add a new composite beam. Before adding our properties or design information or loading, I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings option here and open up the code information. So here under composite steel beam, we can see we have ASIC, ASC, and LRFD codes for composite beam design, as well as Canadian codes for the composite beam design. Next, we can click on the Composite tab to see specific composite beam design criteria. So the percent of composite action, the stud spacing, the minimum flange width, as well as the effective moment of inertia percentage. And so we can change these criteria depending on what you're looking to do in the model. If I go ahead and click to return to the graphical view, I can come over to the properties and I'm going to go ahead and first define the shape. So we'll define the shape as a 21 by 55. So here's our 21 by 55. The material type is going to be A992. I'm going to set a span length at 45 feet. Now you can see we have four expandable subgroups underneath our properties. So the first one here is camber. So if I expand the camber, we can start to set whether the camber is going to be explicitly defined by the user if you want to do a check of a specific beam, or we want to optimize the camber. And so when we optimize the camber, we have some specific camber limits, so the minimum and maximum camber the increment in which we want to increase camber, also the percentage of the dead load, and we can choose whether to include our self-weight or our total dead load in that percentage calculation. Click to close the camber section. Next, I can go ahead and expand the decking section. And we can choose whether we want to include a metal deck or not, and whether or not this deck is shored. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Volcraft deck catalog and choose a 3VLI deck type. We'll set it to 18 gauge, our deck direction. We want this to be perpendicular in this case. This is just going to be kind of like an infill beam. And then we'll set our concrete. So we'll say 4,000 normal weight concrete. And our slab depth we'll set it to seven and a half inches. You can see when we make changes in the properties here, these changes are updated here in the graphics. Now we can always select a specific property in the graphics as well. So in this case, I selected the one and a half inch height above rib for studs. And so we can also see the different stud criteria here. So our tensile strength, our diameter of studs, and then whether or not these studs are going to be explicitly defined. In this case, we're going to do a design, and so we want to optimize these studs. Finally, I can expand the beam layout, and we can go ahead and look at how we want to define the adjacent beams to the beam that we're designing. And so we can either define a slab edge, or define the adjacent beam, and then define the distance for each of those, essentially giving us our effective width. Now once this criteria is defined, I can go ahead and open up my design criteria. So in this case, similar to a steel beam or any other beam in Risa Calc, we have the options to set the unbraced length for different criteria. Out of plane, in plane, top flange, bottom flange, or for torque. We can also set the CB factor, and then we can also, in this case, set the deflection ratios for dead load, live load, 
or a combined total dead plus live load. In this case, I'm going to say that the top flange is fully braced, and so I'm going to click on that checkbox. Next, we can go ahead and add our loads. So I'm going to click to open the loads. We have the ability to add point loads or distributed loads. In this case, I'm going to add a few distributed loads. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button under distributed loads, and let's first add a construction live load. So I'll choose a construction live load here. Let's make the magnitude 250 pounds per linear foot, and that location is going to be along the entire width here. So we can see that I can go ahead and add another load, and so in this case I'm going to make this a post composite dead load. Let's make this post composite dead load 100 pounds per linear foot. Now this is going to be in addition to the self weight of the structure, the self weight of the slab, and the deck, which is incorporated into the calculation automatically. Finally, I want to go ahead and add some additional live load to my structure. So I'm going to add one more distributed load and I'm going to choose our live load here. And in this case, we can go ahead and choose one kit per linear foot. And it will be our live load. Now all the while our loads are being added, we can see that our load combinations for both deflection and strength are being populated. If we need to make changes, we could go ahead and open the dialog box here to make certain changes. We could choose the code type that we're going to use or the year that we're going to pull from these load combinations. In this case, I'm going to click close. We're just going to keep the regular combinations at this point. In this case, I'm going to click close. We're just going to keep the regular combinations. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and do our design. So I'm going to click solve. The software will solve the solution really quickly and we're presented with our design results. So the first result that we're looking at here is our governing strength check. So we can see here the load combination that is the governing strength combination. And then we can also see the unity check given by this governing load combination. Now we can go ahead and turn on our shear and moment diagrams as well as our reactions to view these graphically. We could also go ahead and click the drop down to change to our governing deflection combination. So I'm going to choose my governing deflection combination and we can see our governing ratio here compared to the ratios that we set previously. And we can also show our deflected shape. Now if we look at the detailed report, we can look at the different information that's presented and step by step how the composite beam is designed. So we can look at the loads applied or the load combinations, but I think what's most important here are our calculations. So if I look at our calculations, we first see kind of initial view of the calculation that's going on. So for the shear for non-composite and composite building, as well as the deflection, just a quick look at those unity checks and whether their paths are failing. So if I go ahead and open up composite bending, for instance, we can see the check with all the formulas and all the information rendered here for us to really dive into exactly how Risa Calc is completing this design. And so we can see here our calculation of our nominal flexural capacity at the neutral axis. We can see our total unity check, which that's our unity check that is being used for composite bending. We can see the calculation of studs, so the information about our studs as well as the shear capacity of each stud, and then our total shear capacity force, which renders us our percentage of composite action. Finally, we can look at our deflection checks. So we have those three individual deflection checks showing us the dead load, the live load, and then our total load deflection checks, and then our governing deflection check. Finally, we can look at just the detail, the composite beams. So in this case, doing so getting a W21 by 55 with the number of studs and a camber, and that is over the 45. 
Now, if we wanted to, we could also download this report to PDF and open it in a PDF viewer. So if I go ahead and click the download button here, the PDF will just really quickly generate and then automatically download here in the downloads bar of your web browser. And then I can go ahead and click it to open it up and we're just viewing ours in the web browser here. But we can also go ahead and see the calculations all rendered out in different stages of the design. And so you would use this detail report in your calculations package for your overall project. For more information about RESA Calc, including available components and pricing, please visit resa.com.